I think the day you get used to this is the day you should quit because I'm fully grateful and aware how rare this is. You know, I've written shows with some success. I've written shows that have come and gone. Um, and I've seen every sort of side of this. So when a moment like this happens where the audience responds and people are coming to your show, what can you do but celebrate and be grateful and try to live it in real time as opposed to some crazy montage reel that this would be devoted to if this were a biopic of my life. Um, so I'm just trying to appreciate every, every moment because they're all worth appreciating. Well, that would be wonderful. Maybe I can audition for Biggie Bigelow and Carousel. I mean, maybe that would open up a whole new avenue of roles for me. Well, then you'll ever need another role. <laughs> I was working on Hamilton for a really long time and no one was paying me to do it. <laughs> you know, this was the thing I was writing on my honeymoon and I was writing on vacations. It was the unpaid gig I was working on for love while I did other gigs to pay the rent and while my wife held on a regular job as I was sort of the artist being supported. And um, so how can you not help but be appreciative when the moment kind of swings the other way uh, and you're being celebrated? You have to remember all of the work that came before. I'm gonna bring you yeah, no, 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 we'll get the I feel like I've been the most surprised by our audience in this entire experience because they're ranging in all sorts of different ages from people as like young as like five and six who are fans of the show to, you know, 90 year olds, um, different places of the world, different countries, different races, different cultures, like it's just incredible and I, I'm just so grateful for it. Thank you. It examines something that we all participate in, this idea of America and does it through a lens of how America looks right now. And so that is a thing that I think makes the show very relevant and is, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the diverse casting choices. It's working, right? I mean, people are coming to see it, so maybe that's not a thing to be afraid of necessarily, right? I don't know how much fear there was before. I'm not a producer, but um, this, I'm seeing a lot of black and brown faces on Broadway this year, and that's really encouraging, and I don't think, I don't think hurts uh, in terms of audience engagement. Choosing between a uh, Tony Award and an Audience of Choice Award is really the same as choosing between two actors that are nominated in the same category. They're both amazing. They're both um, they're both hugely significant, and they both mean that what you're doing is worth it. So, um, so yeah, right now, being here right now and having received this by a group of people that didn't owe me anything but just felt moved to click my name, just it's the most precious gift in the world. I did. It makes me very sad. It makes me very sad, but happy. I mean, I think that's the way to do it. Start strong, end stronger, if that's even possible. There's no guarantees with anything, but this was um, a lot of passion and a lot of love behind this. This was not. This was not. Um, sort of cooked up in a test tube to make a bunch of money. This was really somebody following their inspiration and following their heart and creating something that they loved and they gathered a team of people to do the same thing. And sometimes you can win that way. So I hope that's a lesson. It's the missing piece though, that's always the last piece. I always tell people it's the last character of whatever show you're working. We're seeing that every day, that the way that the internet has kind of altered and changed theater. Um, and you look at the success of something like Hamilton, which is just, you know, it's, it's, it's changing the art form before our very eyes, and it's also changing the way that it gets to people, the way it gets into people's homes, and the way that it brings people to New York, brings people to Broadway to have that magical experience that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah.